What's going on guys? So today's video, I have Rush here and we're gonna be doing a DK review from a, a soap store in a sense, like you come across these stores in every mall across North America. Now, where do you get your soaps from, Rush? I get mine from Lush. Okay, well, you're a little bit bougie. We're not gonna be talking about a Lush fragrance. Okay. What's that other store? Oh, Bath and Body Works. So we're gonna be talking about coffee and whiskey or whiskey and coffee. This got a lot of hype within like the last six months because of Cubano and Red Lessons. The note breakdown for this one here, on Fragrantica, it's only got two notes, but on the official Bath and Body Works website, it's got like Irish booze or Irish whiskey, Irish whiskey, coffee, and vanilla. Now, do you get any, like you are the coffee expert. You're always- I drink a lot of coffee is what you're trying to say. Yes, <laughs> you need an intervention because you're always posting some sort of coffee post on Facebook every morning. Caffeine is my god. That is your drug of choice. So do you get a lot of coffee on that? What I get is a double double Irish cream from Second Cup. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now for me, I do get the coffee. It's like I do get the creaminess. Oh, it's very creamy, especially on, on these. Does it smell different on my skin than the test strip? Yes, it does actually. In what so? The, what co the, the coffee is a little bit more bitter on you, okay. and it's more creamy on here. Could be because I'm a bitter type of person. So. It could have something to do with it. You know, when you deal with the general public like I do as a transit operator, you turn bitter naturally. I don't really notice a big difference between like skin and, and, and paper, but I thought it was gonna be more boozy than any, anything. It is boozy, but it, boozy's not driving the car. The coffee's driving the car. Yeah. Um, and then the cream's in the, the and, and then the, the Irish cream is in the, is in the passenger seat. And, and the, the booze, booze is in the back seat. I'd say it's more in the trunk than anything. No, I, I do get the booziness. It's just, it's just, it's just not the, the first two things I get. I do get a little bit of booziness, but not a whole lot. What this kind of smells like, though, is like a coffee with a creme brulee. It smells like I'm at, at like an Italian bakery. Mm, I like it. I'd wear it. I, I'm very surprised by this. I'd, I would definitely wear this, and I own only other. I only own one other fragrance uh, from Bath and Body Works, and that's Mahogany Wood, which I bought from you. Okay, <laughs> I, I had that one in the. Uh, I think it's Alpine or something like that. Yeah, I bought the Mahogany Alpine Wood off of you. That, that that's sexy. Yeah, this is actually, this, uh, that's a good word for this. This is sexy. There's it is sexy. It's so. playful. It's, I find it comes across as a little young, a little youthful. No, I think you can get away with it up, and, up, and, up until your 40s and 50s. Just, you know, I wouldn't wear it with a suit. I, you no. Know, no. No, this, this is, is definitely very casual. This is night out for me. For me, th this is a sweater with a cup of coffee. Something cozy, like what you're dressed as. Yeah. Um, for me, it's night out. It's, I think that this will be like a fun date scent. You know? Yeah, actually, it would get attention. It would get the, the kind of attention you want. And I, and I do think that if you're a young person, you can get away with this as a club scent as well. Yeah, I can, I can see that. It's different. Yeah. Because this, if you do more than four sprays, like you, like the projection and the sillage on this is like tremendous, especially for what you're spending, because you're only spending like 40, 50, like 40 to 50 bucks. Four sprays of that, you'll be the only person standing in that corner at the nightclub. <laughs> Maybe, well, I don't know, because you got like your JBGs, your Armani Code uh, Profumos. And, th and this would stand up to them. Maybe, maybe because like strong. so I, I did state that the uh, the projection the CI is very good uh, longevity was for an EDT was actually really good. It's like eight to nine hours. So for that, for, for that, that, for that, my God, I'm gonna have to get so, a bottle. I like and then it. Drink it. <laughs> it's like as you said, clearly a cooler season scent. So I don't even know what really else to add. Yeah, wear this in the fall and fall and winter. Do not wear this in the spring and summer. So I did state that night out, but I do think that as a young person, you can wear this to school. Yeah, and the, and the price, and I imagine the price is very good for this. Forty for to that. fifty bucks. Hey, you know, can't so, go wrong. Yeah, it's Bath and Body Works. So would you wear it? I'd wear it. I'd wear it, but just like on a casual night out, as you stated. Yeah. On a weekend. This that's a weekend fragrance. Yeah. Like just it, throw it in your bag as you're leaving for the weekend and you're ready to go for almost anything. Like if you have a lot of fragrances in your collection, this is just something that you don't need. But I do think that if you have no more than like six to eight fragrances, this is something that you should have in your collection. Yes, as and it will get too. compliments. I, I guarantee you'll get if compliments. If you're wearing this with the right outfit, the right attitude, but also the right amount, you know, three, four sprays at the most, 
this is a, I would say, I can see this being a compliment getter. Mm -hmm. So, anything else to add, Rush? Yeah, I want to drink it. <laughs> Definitely need, need an intervention. So guys, that is our quick little take of Bath & Body Works coffee and whiskey. If you like this video, leave us one of these. If you want to see other winter cheapies, you know, why don't you check out right here. We thank you for your time, take care, and we will see you later. Thanks for watching, everybody.